Okay, so you're probably here to talk about the new AD10M. So we brought back the AD10, um, and yes, it looks like the original triad lock I did, but this would be considered a successor to the triad lock. Um, it has been granted a patent, and what I did here was adjust the things that I felt, not that there was weak parts of a triad lock, because it's still a great, great, great lock, but things that I felt had room for improvement. And one of those things was the interface between the stop pin and the lock face. So you'll know that this the lock bar or the rocker, it sinks, it sinks in as it closes and it wears and sinks in more deeply. But what's interesting is this has an arced face and this has an arced face also. So there's two arced faces. They are not concentric, so when it sinks down, it actually uh, kind of like wedges and it tightens in. However, when you have this arced face and you're and say if this is an oversized stop pin, you have this arc going against the stop pin like this, and you have a very small contact area. So the regular stop pin is just a round pin, and when this face is here, no contact area or very little. So what I've done was, if you can get in there, you'll see there's a, there's a recess in there. It's concaved radius, and it's the same radius that's on the face of this lock. So what happens is, the lock, as it goes in there, it mates exactly with that, with that arc in the pin, and it gives you a lot of contact area and surface area. So that reduces the wear in what happens under a hard use, uh, the deformation that happens in the pin or the lock face because of the small contact area. Now this has a lot of contact area and it just wears uh, much, much less. But what you also have to do because of the arc, you know, if this was a, a solid hole, it would only fit in one location. It would only mate at one place. So this hole, the old triad lock, the lock moved back and forth you know, it, it, it pivoted, but it moved back and forth. It was described as an elongated slot. In this case, we have an oversized hole here. So this lock actually moves up, down, left, right, in, out. It goes in any place it needs to. And I'll take the spring out of here, tilt that up. And you'll see if you want to get in here that this lock, I'll take the blade out as well. If it's up here, I have full contact with that pin and look where it is with, with this location. If it sinks down more, I have full contact, but it adjusted on this oversized hole. Sinks down more, I have full contact again with that pin, and it takes up a new position on the oversized hole. So this is able to float up, down, left, right, in all directions to keep its mating surface with the lock face and the stop pin. So that creates a great wear surface for strength. So it opens up, snaps shut, and locks right into place. That is the new AD10M. We don't even really have the lock named yet, but that's it. Okay, thank you very much.